Hi my scholarly second graders. Today we're going to be working with coins so that we can talk about the value of the coins and how we would calculate the quantities. So we're going to start with our four basic coins and we have of the least value a penny and that is worth one cent. Pennies have smooth edges and they're the least value of all, all of our coins. Next we're going to look at a nickel. Our nickels are a value of five cents. They're worth the same as five pennies. And their, their edges are very soft and smooth also. So our pennies and our nickels both have smooth edges. Next we have dime. The dime value is 10 cents. It's the same as 10 pennies or 2 nickels. And what's interesting about the dime is it's actually smaller in size than a nickel, than a nickel but it has a value that's greater than a nickel. And its edge is a little rough. The next one we have is a quarter, and our quarters, look, all quarters look very different. They have ones that have different states and things on them, but the way you know a quarter is it's the largest of these four coins. It's bigger than a nickel. You can see it's larger than a nickel and a dime if you compare them, but what makes a quarter different than a nickel is it's got a jagged edge. You can feel it. Quarters are worth 25 cents, and they um, are the same as 25 pennies, or 5 nickels, or 2 dimes and a nickel, or there's other ways to combine those. So we're going to start off and we're going to do some, some adding up some coins. So we're going to take um, these 5 coins here, and we have a quarter and that's worth 25 cents. We have a dime worth 10 cents, another dime, a nickel, and a penny. So I'm going to record up here what we have and talk about ways that we could add those. So I'm going to do 25, that's our 25 cents, and I'm going to do my penny right here, and my dime, which is 10 cents, another dime 10 cents and my nickel 5 cents. So one way that we could add this is we could put the 25 cents with a dime and go to 35 cents and then take our 35 cents and add the other dime and that makes 45 cents and then take our 45 cents and add our, our nickel and get 50 cents and then take our penny and do 50 plus the penny would make 51 cents. So our total is 51 cents. But we could also do it another way. We could do um, 10 cents plus 10 cents plus 5 cents equals 25. That takes care of those. And then do 25 plus 25 is 50 and then 50 plus 1 is 51 cents. Or one other way is 25 plus get up to a multiple of 10 and do 25 plus 5 is 30 and then those two are another 20. 30 plus 20 equals 50 plus 1 is 51. So there are three different ways that you can add that quantity. So what your homework is is for tomorrow Find three combinations of coins that make 55 cents and draw and explain each of your combinations and prove how you got it, how you know that's 55 cents. Have a great day!